The spirit of the living God is saying unto you prisoners of hope rejoice and return to the stronghold of power. Return unto the Lord for he will do with you an amazing thing. Amen. Amen. He will visit you with double blessing. Amen. All the years that have been consumed by caterpillar and grasshoppers, the Lord will return in multiple folds. All those that are holding your glory, your joy, your blessing, captivity, the mighty power in heaven shall come against them and deliver your glory unto you. Amen. Jesus name. Your time of lamentation will be over. Amen. Your time of mystery will be forgotten. Amen. The Lord will do a new thing in your life. Amen. He will proclaim his majesty. Amen. Those who are not serving God they are rejoicing all over, they are rising high. But you will rise up into glory. Amen. At the end of the day, we shall clearly see the difference between those who are serving God and those who are not serving God. The difference must be there. The difference must be there. In this world and the world to come, you will not news of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first lesson to you to me today is saying, I've sent an angel to follow you. I've sent an angel to follow you to be with you in front and behind to lead you to the promised land. There will be a number of obstacles, a number of enemies. The Jebusite, the Ephites, the Amorites, the Moabites, the Canaanites, the Anakites. They will be there. I don't worship us. Witches, wizards, sorcerers, they be on the way. But the Lord is saying, I will clear them all for you. Amen. He said that we send an honor before you that will sting them and drive them away. Amen. But the point is, you must obey his word. You must not anoint him. My name is upon him, and I've not given him the opportunity or the power to forgive you your sins. So when you walk with him, you must do it right. We want to believe that sincerely we're doing it right. As long as we're keeping the Ten Commandments, we are keeping the Sabbath holy. We are not committing any murder. We are not committing any adultery, adultery, fornication, stealing. All the Ten Commandments, like the Jews, like the Pharisees, we are keeping. Satan is very strong. Satan is wise. Satan is subtle, is crafty. All these Ten Commandments are the ones he's using against the unbelievers. The unbelievers will continue to fornicate. To go into idolatry, to be drunken, to steal, to lie, to rob, 
to go into homosexuality. But for those who are believers, those who are truly and sincerely, those who are believers, they will not try you with this. Those who are still being tried with all this are not believers, they are pagans. He knows what he needs to try you with. The little, 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 little things. They seem little before you and before me. We don't even acknowledge them as sins, but they are as grievous as adultery, as fornication, as stealing. Those who are doing it are going to the same place where those who are command violating the three commandments are going. My word is upon this angel. Obey my words. And he will take you to the promised land. All your enemies will become my enemies. Amen. If you also worship me, truly and sincerely, I will make sure I bless your food, I bless your drink, Amen. I bless your home, Amen. I send your, I make your house a home, Amen. I turn your food to a feast, Amen. I enlarge your territory. Amen. If you worship me, the first one I will keep you. The second one, if you worship me, you will not be eating food of sorrow. things that are very, very important for us to be mindful of. There are probably two or three. The most serious one is the sin of hatred. Hate. The consequences in this world that war to come very, very severe. And things that normally engineer Eight is envy, pride, and wickedness. In Genesis 4, Cain decided to slaughter his brother Abel because of hatred, because of envy. And the lost land is sentenced upon him. The Lord said forever and ever you will be a vagabond. And the land will never yield this increase unto you again. And up to this day, the proclamation on the eastern side of Eden is still ravaging the descendants of AK. They are still vagabonds. They are moving from tent to tent as cattle rearers, they don't have any permanent home. It's an hatred, envy from the brethren of Joseph. They said in Genesis 37:16, this man said he's going to be our boss. And he said, and he said, I seek my brethren. The Lord, the, the, the father sent him to go and give bread and water to his brethren. He had to walk over 10, 12 miles. <clears throat> Two days journey looking for them just to go and give them food. Yes. And when they saw him coming with this food. Yes. And he said, I seek my brethren. Yes. Tell me, I pray thee. Where are they? Where, they feed, where, where they feed their flocks. Yes. And the man said, They've gone to they Dothan. are departed ends. For I heard them say, let us go to Dothan. They've gone to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren. Yes. And found them in Dothan. And, and found them there. And when they and saw him far yes. off, yes. even before he came near before unto he them, came near there. they conspired against they conspired him. To slay him. From the same father. To and, slay him. 
And they said one to another. And they said one to another. Behold, behold this dreamer comes. This dreamer is coming. Come he now. wants to be our boss. Come yes. now, therefore. Come now. And let us slay him. Let's kill him. And cast him into some pits. And cast him to some And we will say, hate, hatred, engineered by envy. What God will do, God will do it. You can never stop the hand of God. Continue. And and Reuben heard it, and he delivered <laughs> the him out of The spirit of grace hands. came through Reuben. Said, Let's go and throw him to the pit. Who we'll sell him to the Ishmael's. Yes. And said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into the pit. And it came to pass, when Joseph was come unto his brethren. You, you already know the story. God mm -hmm. bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> they sold him. And remain in slavery for 13 years, going through the jail house. But at the end of the day, the promise of the Lord came to pass. And the Lord then sentenced that Jacob children to 40, 430 years in slavery because they've done so. Wickedly to that brother, they remain in Egypt, languishing, lamenting, in slavery for 430 years. Four generations are wiped off in slavery. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Envy. You cannot stop the hand of God. I've not seen anybody who lives his life in hatred that is not living his life in mystery. And they always do things that are far worse than being stupid. Korah, Death, and Abiram, they said unto Moses, are you the only one? We are all so blessed we are all so holy. Why will it be you and you and you only? The Lord has his different calling upon each and every one. You have to discover your own calling. You have to discover your own talent. When you change the talent of others, you bury your own. And at the end of the day, you have nothing to show before God. You are then written off as an unprofitable servant. Number 16, 1, 2, 3, say, no. Is this Moses the only one? Is he the only one giving the word? No, Korah, the son of Isha. Yes. The son of Kohath. Yes. The son of Levi and yes. Nathan. And they rose up before Moses with yes. certain of yes. the children of Israel. Yes. 250 princes of the assembly. 250 princes of the assembly. Famous in the congregation. Famous. Men of renown. He mobilized them. And they gathered themselves together against Moses. Yes. And against Aaron. Yes. And said unto them. Why? You take too much upon you. You take too much upon you. Are you the only one there? Say now the congregation are holy. We are all holy. Every one of them. We are all holy. Why is it only you? Why? Envy, envy, envy. If the Lord has purposed you to be a president, if you are not in a slaughter slab in a village in Pennsylvania, you will get to that position. God does not need any advisor. He doesn't need the support of any individual. He will get you to where you have been destined to get to. Even called data in verse 12. Said, Moses said, Data and come. He said, No, I'm not coming to you. I wouldn't answer you. I wouldn't answer you. And Moses sent to call Data. Yes. And Abiram. Yes. The sons of Ilya, which said, Yes. We will not come up. We are not coming up. Is it a small thing that thou has brought us up out of a land that flows with milk and honey? Yes. And you have to kill us in the wilderness. Yes. Except thou make thyself altogether you make a prince yourself over a us. Prince over us. Moreover, Moses had refused many times before God. I don't want to do this work. 
I don't want to do it. It's so difficult to lead human beings. Human beings are the most difficult creature the Lord has created. A few sleep and they are working on you every day, you can never satisfy them. They will find faults in you. There's absolutely nothing you can do to satisfy any human being. Is he the only one there? Moses cried. And then said, God, if you have called me indeed, if you are the one that has called me, there must be something. Go to verse 31. And Moses was yes. came to pass. Yes. <laughs> Continue with <laughs> it. <laughs> and it came to pass. Yes. As he had made an end of speaking all this word. Yes. That the ground could the have ground opened, up, opened up its mouth. That was and, under them. And swallowed them. And the earth family. opened her mouth and swallowed them up. Completely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There has bitter consequence. They went alive into the pit. They were driven by the spirit of Envy. Amen. These are things that you don't actually believe is in you. Amen. In Esther 4, 9, 10, 11. This is pride. When you are proud, when you are arrogant, you may be in trouble. The Agatites. And the go Jews to five enemy. Nine, please. Go to chapter 5 now. That's where I need to go. Five, nine. Then went Haman forth that day, yes. joyful with a glad heart. But when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate, he became so bitter. that he stood not up for him. No move for him. It was full of indignation against Mordecai. Maybe this, this gate man did not realize how important, how great, how exalted. I am. Yes. Nevertheless, Haman restrained himself. And when he came home, he sent and called for his came, friends. Oh, he then sent for his, his friends and Zeresh, his wife. And the wife. And, and the children. And he, sat together. And Haman told them yes. of the glory of his riches. He was boasting of the glory of his riches. The multitude of his children. The multitude of his children. And all the things wherein the king had promoted him. And, and, how he, yes. and how he had been advanced above the kings and servants of the king. Yes. Amen said, Moreover, yea, Esther the queen did, did let no man come in with the Except king me. unto the banquet she had prepared but myself. And tomorrow am I invited unto her also with the king. Right. Yet all this availed me nothing. All this, they are of no interest to me. Yes. As so long as I see Mordecai the as Jew. As long as I see that Jew. At the king's gate. Hate him. Yes. Then said Zeresh his wife yes. and all his friends unto him, yes. Let a gallows be made for him. Let a gallows be made to him. Made of fifty cubits high. Yes. And tomorrow, tomorrow, speak thou unto the king, that Mordecai may be hanged therein. That they may kill him. Then go thou in merrily with the king unto the banquet. That, that is the point. That's all I need. I hate his God. And he got home, he called the wife, he called the children, the wife, the, the children, the friends. They said, you don't have any problem. Even with all these riches, they are nothing to me until I get rid of that man. The Lord is not going to utter a single word. You will build your castle up to heaven. When you are done, he will be there to throw the whole thing apart. When you find an arrow, Remember, it may come straight to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The point is, in that congregation, the wife, the children, the friends, there was none who could tell him what we were doing was not right. In every house, no matter how poor they are, there must be one that God will raise to take care of the less privileged. If that one fails to do it, it is not a home, it is a house. In every home, there must be someone who must be a touch bearer. 
So when they are saying this, that one should be able to say, but I think we should examine it this way. We either don't have such a person or such a such a person has compromised his talent, then you don't have a family, but a fraternity. It is important for us to know that God is the only adjudicator. There's no power you have over any individual. At the end of the day, the counsel of the Lord alone will stand. Amen. The gallow he prepared, he went on that gallow, the wife, the children, everyone destroyed. And Amen was riding high. Christ said in John 15, 22, they hate me with passion. If I had not come and spoken, if I had not come and spoken unto them, and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. Yes. But now they have no clothes they have their no sin. to their sin. He that hateth me, those who hate me, hate my father they also. Hate my, when you hate somebody, you hate the creator, you hate the father. Yes. If I had not done among them the works which none, none other man did, yes. they had not had sin. Yes. But now they have both sin and hated both me and my father. They hate me and my father. But this cometh to pass that the word of might Isaiah. be fulfilled that is written in their law. Yes. They hated me without a cause. They hated me without a cause. <clears throat> you don't have any reason to hate any individual that has been created by God. And this hatred was further ventilated. Go to Matthew 27, 15. Now at this feast, yes, the governor was one to release unto the people a prisoner yes. whom they would. Yes. And they had then a notable prisoner called yes. Barabbas. Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, yes. Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you? Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ. Yes. For he knew that for envy they had for delivered him. Envy. For envy. Yes. They had delivered him. Yes. When he was set down on the judgment seat, yes. his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that I release unto you? Yes. And they said, Barabbas. Barabbas. Pilate said unto them, what shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? He said, crucified. They all said unto him, Let him be crucified. Yes. And the governor said, Why? What evil has he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When mm -hmm. Pilate saw that he could not prevail, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, yes. I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See you to it. Yes. Then answered all the people and said, his blood be on us and on our Let children. Let his blood be upon us and our children. They have released the Barabbas unto they them. Released, they, 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 they sent away peace and embraced an armed robber. And the world is now completely mutilated, ravaged by violence. It is the choice of the world. Because of hate. Because of hate, you see people killing people all over. When you have envy, Proverbs 27 4 says, Hunger is very heavy, wrath is destructive, but nobody can stand before envy. Wisdom 24 7. 27 4. Wrath is cruel. Wrath is cruel. And anger is outrageous. Yes. But who is able to stand before envy? Nobody can stand before envy. Envy and pride will continue to generate and ignite it. The third one, unforgiving spirit. I'm telling you in all sincerity, a number of people are in bondage. They are in bondage because of the forgiving spirit. Christ says in 18, 
I just want you to listen to, to I'm not going to take much of your time. 18, 23, 24. Matthew. Matthew, you should know. <laughs> Therefore, Therefore, is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a the certain The kingdom king. of heaven is likened unto one king. Which will take account of his servants. He is taking account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, yes, one was brought unto him. Yes. Which owed him 10,000 talents. Somebody owed him 10,000 talents. But for as much. 10,000 talents. A talent is 75 pounds. 10,000 is 750 pounds. 750 pounds is 385 tons of gold. A gold, a piece of gold, a ton of gold, $450,000. So these 385 tons of gold, we're talking of 1.4 billion in that time. It's something that you can... Second King 5.23 says, Gehaz, the servant of... Uh, 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 servant of uh, and Elisha. Said, and Naaman said, yes. be content. Be content. Take two talents. Two, take two talents. And he urged him, Two talents. You cannot carry more than two talents because each each talent weighs seventy-five pounds. Mm. One in each bag. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're forgiving you something that you can never repay in your life. One point four billion dollars. Yes. Therefore, is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king? Which will take account of his servants. Go to, the time is going. Go to Pentati. And he would not. And his fellow servant. Let's go back. But the same servant went out. He went out. And found one of his fellow servants, which yes. owed him 100 pence. 100 and, pence. And he laid hands on him. 100 pence. A day's wage. Somebody who has been forgiven $1.4 billion. Now he's now, he's now owing. He's now seen somebody who's indebted to him. On that pens. Yes. And he took him by the throat. And he took him by the throat. Saying, saying, pay me that that was. You must pay me my money. And yes. his fellow servant fell down at his feet. Yes. And begged him, saying, begged him saying, Have patience with me. Have patience. And I will pay thee. And all. I will pay thee. And he would not. I will not. But went and cast him into prison. <laughs> yes. Till he should pay the debt. One day wage. Yes. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, yes. they were very sorry. They were sorry. And came and told unto their Lord all yes. that was done. Yes. Then his Lord, yes. after that he had called him, said unto him, yes. O thou wicked servant. The wicked servant. I forgive thee I all, forgive that, all that thy debt. That there was no way for ever to pay. Because thou desirest me. Yes. Should thus not thou also have had compassion on my fellow servant? Yes. Even as I had pity on thee. Yes. And his Lord was wrought. Yes. And delivered him to the tormentors. Hallelujah. Then he should pay all that was due unto him. Three sentences. He delivered him to a tormentor. Wow. One. Continue. Till he should pay all that was due unto him. Yes. So likewise, he put him in jail. A tormentor. When they say you are going to a tormentor, you are released to demon. You are released to demon. When they say, keep him in jail, in the jail, they will give you your normal food, your normal drink. But that thing that is important to you, that you desire to see, you can never have the opportunity of having it. So a number of people actually begging for one thing or the other that is so dear to their heart, but they can't get it because they are in jail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the tormentor, maybe you don't know, when you are going to a tormentor, it means the Lord has given you over. Can you go to Mark 128? Maybe you don't know what a tormentor is. And immediately, <laughs> his fame spread abroad throughout all the region. Somebody, somebody went to Las Vegas. Was it San Francisco? 
and took all sort of arsenals of war, like he was going to war, and sprayed people Las Vegas because he had been given to a tormentor. He was he wasn't the one again. The tormentor is within him. Somebody went to chapel. I went to the Bible class and discussed with people and then rose up and picked up a gun and killed people. He was under the control of a tormentor. He's been given out. When you are released to a tormentor, demon is already living in you. Continue. Mark 1.28. Yes. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. Yes. And forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew. Go to Luke 4, 31, please. I don't want to waste any time. The time is gone. 4, 31. Then he went down to, Cap to Capernaum. Yes. A town in Galilee. Yes. And on the Sabbath, they began to teach the people. Yes. They were amazed at his teaching. Yes. Because his message had authority. Yes. In the synagogue, yes. there was a man possessed by a demon. Somebody was possessed by a demon. An evil spirit. Evil spirit. He cried out at he, the top of his voice. He cried out at the top of his voice. Ha, what do you want with me, Jesus of Nazareth? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is spiritual warfare. This man was not the one crying out. He, the tenant in him that was talking. What do you want here? Jesus Christ, Son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Have you come to destroy us? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. The Holy One of God. You will recognize that the person talking at this at personality. At figure. It wasn't this man that was in, actually in front. It was the personality name that was actually talking. Satan had no problem with religiosity. When you come to the church, you pray, you dance, you carry the Bible, you read the Bible, you do Bible studies. Demon had no problem with you at all. Because all this are religiosity. It has nothing to do with Christianity. You dance, you do this, you, you, you. <laughs> we follow, I will follow. We follow. You pay your time to pay this all this at generosity. He was there living comfortable with them. And when you have this demon in you, living comfortably, you can that church cannot have peace. If they are preaching, the spirit in you will tell you you are the one they are using. You are the, the target. <laughs> When you see two, three people talking, they are talking about you. It's you. It's always incensing you against people. You will be enraged. You don't see peace in anybody. Unless people are crawling before you, like a man wanted Mordecai to do, you will be right. Is the person that has taken residency in you is a personality. That when he saw Christ, and what do you want here? What's the problem there, Jesus? So if you have Christ in you, if you are a Christian, not just a religious person, if you are a Christian, if Christ is in you indeed this demon will not have a place in you Amen. because the Holy Spirit will take total control of your life Amen. I'm talking of Christ living in you and when Christ is living in you Christ that teaches soon Luke 6 that when somebody slaps your right to give him your left cheek that if somebody is taking your tunic to give him your pants that if somebody is causing you to pray for him, I'm talking of Jesus Christ. Until he's living in you, you are not a Christian, you are not even sure of making it. 
and all the derivatives and agents of hate. People killing people, they cannot, they will have done it before actually <laughs> understanding what they have done. Because of the tenant they actually gave their room to. It's living in death. These are the little, little things Satan is using to destroy the eternity of Christians, of believers. It's not a, well, I'm not fornicating, I'm not committing adultery, I'm not stealing, I'm not this, I'm not that. Mm -hmm. But with this little, little problems, forces, unforgiving spirit, he said, I will give you, give you the tormentor. He will continue to torment him. Keep him in the cell. Until he's able to repay. And he can never repay. It's only somebody that has paid. And that is Christ. And now that you've rejected this word, because I'm willing to forgive, I'm telling you, as I pass through, as I pass through, I want to make sure the blood of all men are taken away from my head. You must learn to have Christ in you. Whatever you are seeking, whatever you are looking for, God is so mighty. He is so great. He has created something from nothing. He has taken us out of the trash. He has taken us from a dunghill, from the pit, from hell. He has the capability. Wait for your time. He will come. And when he comes, he will never delay. Amen. In Gadara, when they saw Christ, in Mark 5, 1, you are running off to pray. Gadara, Mark 5, 1. And they came and they over onto the other side the of the right. sea. Yes. Into the country of the Gadarenes. Yes. And when he was come out of the ship, yes, immediately they met him out of the tombs. Yes. A man with an unclean spirit. Yes. Who had his dwelling among the tombs. Yes. And no man could bind him. Yes. No, not even with chains. Yes. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. He would call the chain into pieces. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. Because of the tenant in me, very powerful. Yes. And the fetters broken in pieces. Yes. Neither could any man tame him. Yes. And always night and day, he was in the mountains himself. and in the tombs. Yes. Crying and cutting himself with stones. Yes. But when he saw Jesus when he saw off, Jesus, he ran and worshipped him. He ran him. and worshipped him. And cried out with a loud and voice cried and out said, to him with loud voice. What about the one that with come? Is the spirit in him, the spirit of Satan. Mm -hmm. Because they know the Lord is the Lord. Amen. Christ is the Lord. Yes. They must come and bow down Amen. at the sight of ah, Jesus me. Christ. Yes. You must have Jesus in you, in your life. Don't believe in religiosity. It does not pay. Majesty. Yes. Believe in having Christ in you. The second lesson is saying, because you are a sheep, you have given to the destitute, you have clothed this, you have gathered for this, stay on the right side. I tell you all sincerity, minus and plus is minus. I don't know whether math has changed. No. <laughs> so if you have been recorded as a wicked person, unwilling to forgive, an agent of hate, an agent of arrogance and pride, you can never please God with whatever you are giving to the destitute. It says in 21, 27 proverb, the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. It's better to have the heart and not the word than having the word without the heart. Think deeply. Take all these little, little things that can stop you from entering the kingdom of God away from your life. It will not pay you. See yourself as only being religious. If anybody is hurting you, call that individual, settle with that individual, move on with your life. 
Hatred is ravaging the world and it started from Cain. Let us pray.